brownie red something or other gorgeous. Yeah, I'd wear that too, Kroger. Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got my favorite fall lip colors for y'all today. So this is the 2016 edition. I don't ever really look back on years past because I wanna really just like look at this year and think what am I already wearing? What am I excited to wear? And I don't wanna be concerned if it was something I mentioned last year or not because if I'm still loving it this year, then I wanna mention it again. So honestly, I don't know if I've mentioned these before. One of them I might have, probably so, and maybe a second one, but I'm not really sure. I just went with what I'm loving or what am I excited to wear. So yeah, let's just jump on into it. First, I have one of the new Delium Tools matte lipsticks. I love the packaging on these lipsticks. It is so nice looking, weighty feeling, just really nice, fancy packaging, and I love the lipsticks inside. This is the color Kylie. And it's just a beautiful, I don't know, like warm nude. This just looks like a very like fall nude to me. I mean, it's a nude any time of year that I would like, but I love these kinds of nudes specifically for fall. And I find myself wearing them a lot in the fall, more so than like a cool tone, kind of a pinky nude. I find myself grabbing for more of a warm nude in the fall because it's just got that like, that beautiful warmth to it, that kind of brownie tone. So I love this one. If you're looking for a great brownie nude kind of a color, this one's awesome. Love the formula on these. They're really nice and long wearing, but comfortable feeling on the lips. They don't move everywhere and get all over your teeth. They're great. And Kylie is a gorgeous neutral color. Oh my goodness, I love this color. I love this formula. This is one of the Bite Beauty Multi Sticks. This is an almond. And when I first like saw this one, I thought that's a little bit scary. But then I saw Jess from um, Don't Call Me Jesse. I love every lip color she shows. I mention her all the time. She showed this color, so I got this after seeing her swatch it, and I thought, oh, I gotta have that because it's just a gorgeous, unique brown shade. It's like a just a super warm brown, but then it has like a reddish tone to it. I feel like you can see the red more like in the tube than um, in the swatch. Maybe a little bit more on the lips, but it's just a gorgeous kind of reddish brown. It is beautiful and unique. These are comfortable, they're long wearing. You can wear them on the cheeks. This is really pretty on the cheeks too. Technically you can wear it on the eyes, but I haven't done that yet because I have oily lids and I don't know how that would go, but on the lips and cheeks, this is amazing. This is one of the Maybelline Loaded Bolds. This is in Mauve It. And when I first got these, this was a standout to me because it is just a gorgeous, like kind of, I don't know, edgy mauve is how I would describe it. It's just got this like grayish tone to it that I think makes it really, really cool. And cool meaning like interesting and neat but also cool as in cool tone. <laughs> it's just a gorgeous mauve, isn't it neat? And I feel like this is perfect for fall because I love mauves in the fall and I'm feeling those kind of like edgy colors. So this one I'm like super excited about specifically this year. I've already worn it and already enjoyed it. I think I've already shown this in a Friday Favorites probably back in the summer, but I'm super excited to wear it for the fall specifically. So the metallic lip is definitely a trend and I feel like some of the most beautiful ones are from the Milani Amour Matte Metallic Lip Cream line. This is one of the standouts from that line for me. I had quite a few favorites from that line, like especially metallic fall kind of colors. So I do have a swatch video on all these. So if you wanna check out that video, you can see all the different colors, but there's three in there that I feel like are just super duper fall, but this is my favorite. This is number two, what is it called? Ma materialistic, materialistic. And this is just an amazing, oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. Like brown, I don't know, brownie, red, something or other gorgeous? Yeah, like a bronzy, chocolatey, reddish brown, but metallic, and I love it. It's so cool, isn't that amazing? So I don't know like how often I would wear this, but I mean, just looking at it, I'm like, 
yeah, I'd wear that to Kroger. I wear that to Kohl's. Why not? Because it's gorgeous. So if you're looking for some metallics for the fall, these are some of my favorites. If you like orange lips, I think you will love this one. And it just looks very fall orange. I mean, orange is fall in general, but this specific orange just looks very fall to me because it doesn't look super duper neon. It is more kind of like subdued, which I love. This is one of the Black Moon Cosmetics liquid lipsticks, and this is in Harvest, which that just sounds like fall, but it looks like fall too. So you see how it's kind of like more muted? Isn't that gorgeous? So it's not... It's not crazy bright and neon, which a lot of times, like, those oranges, I really just don't feel comfortable in. Like, sometimes I'm feeling sassy, and I'll pull out a neon orange lip, but I feel way more comfortable in this kind of an orange. And it just looks like fall. I mean, that just totally looks like fall. Okay, I was totally going to include this one because I love it, but I can't find it on their website anymore, so... I don't think it's still around. So honorable mention would be Ofra's liquid lipstick in Manhattan. I'm not wearing it right now because I didn't put it on because I didn't find it on their website. But it's a beautiful color. So if you have Manhattan, I would say grab it, wear it. I also love Americano for the fall and I also love Honolulu, but I love a lot of their colors. They have a bajillion ones that are great for the fall. I feel like the application of this one got a little bit crazy, but this color is beautiful. This is one of the Maybelline color blurs. This is in Plum Please. And I think I bought this one after watching Julie Dawn Olson's um, fall lipstick video or lip color video either last year or the year before. And I was like, oh my gosh, that color is amazing. So it's right here. It's so funny about these and just makeup in general. I feel like sometimes our tastes change or, you know, just color preference or whatever. But I did not like the color blurs at first. I thought that they were just really okay. But now I love them. Like, I don't know. I don't feel like they're the most comfortable matte lipstick I've ever worn. I feel like they feel a little bit dry on the lips, but they wear so well. They don't move. They have so many pretty colors, and Plum Please is amazing for this time of year. It's so gorgeous and super duper affordable. So it's really funny. Really wasn't a fan of these at first, but now I really like them. Then last but certainly not least is one of my Maybelline Creamy Mattes. This is in Divine Wine, and I know I've mentioned this in a lot of videos, in fall videos, favorites videos, like Friday favorites, monthly favorites, tutorials. Who knows what else? I've mentioned this a lot on my channel because I can't stop with Divine Wine. It is literally my favorite dark lip color in my whole collection. It's just an amazing dark wine color and it's intense, it's a little bit edgy, but it's really pretty. Like I just feel like it's one of those colors when I put it on I thought this is the dark lip color I have been searching for my whole life and like dramatic music played and I had found my favorite fall lip color. Well, not even just fall, just favorite dark lip color in general. Oh, I love it so much. And the creamy mattes can do no wrong in my eyes. They're comfortable, they're creamy, they're amazing. They're super inexpensive. Love them all, but Divine Wine is like, just absolute perfection. Love this one. All right guys, so that wraps up my favorite fall lip colors. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what some of your favorite fall lip colors are. I love hearing your favorites and your opinions. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.